Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So here we have a Citroen Bilingo for sale, Citroen Bilingo Electric, and these are the same vans as the Peugeot Partner. So all of these have a 22 kilowatt hour battery pack there under the floor. They all have uh, three seats up front. They're the only small electric van with three seats. Uh, they also all have uh, air conditioning as standard, and you also get both AC and DC rapid charging. So the seats on these are quite um, practical. So this one doesn't have the solid bulkhead, instead you've just got the ladder frame there protecting the driver. But on these, you can drop the passenger seat down and then it folds flat and flush with the cargo floor. And you can actually put three meter lengths in. You have to hook them in the footwell there under the uh, glove box. But it's great on, a, three, on a, a small van like this, you can actually put three metre lengths inside so you don't have to have uh, roof bars on the top. And being electric, they're very quiet and you don't really want to carry things on the roof because that just adds noise and uh, drag and ultimately will reduce your range a little bit. So yeah, these seats also lift up if you want to carry anything on the floor. You've also got a bit of storage under there. And then this middle seat folds down to give you a sort of writing table or somewhere to eat your lunch. So I'll just quickly talk about the charging on these. So you have a charge port here on the front wing, and this is your AC charging port. So type one, it's a 3.6 kilowatt AC charger. And typically you would use this to charge the vehicle overnight. And then on the other side where the diesel filler would be is your rapid charging port. So this is a Chadamo DC rapid charging and this is what you would use on the roadside if you want to extend the range where you get that rapid uh, charge. So in this case it will charge from 0 to 80% in about 25 minutes. And then in the back here is your charging cable. So this vehicle comes with two cables. This is your AC charging cable that you would plug into a wall charger or a public AC charger. So type two for the charger end, type one there to go in the connector at the front of the van. And then this is your portable charger, often called a granny cable. And this allows you to charge the vehicle on a three pin um, main socket. So these do take a bit longer because you can't draw any more than 10 amp through your ring mains. So that charges at 2.3 kilowatt, whereas if you were using a proper wall charger, you're going to charge at 3.6 kilowatt. And uh, when you're using the DC public chargers using that rapid port on this side, you don't need a cable for that because the cables are always on the charger because they have to be about that thick because that's delivering 50 kilowatt. So as far as kit goes on these vans, you get electric windows, electric mirrors, uh, you have um, air conditioning as standard, the stereo is um, FM radio, single slot CD, you don't actually get Bluetooth on these, that was one of the only options and very few of them have it, but you can fit a, an aftermarket Bluetooth kit. You've got your gear selector there, part reverse neutral drive, so you drive it like an automatic even though electric vehicles don't have a gearbox. And then you've got some storage here in front of your dash. You've got a uh, glove box down there. And then you've got overhead storage as well, which is quite nice in a small van. So this one has done 23,597 miles. The range is showing 50 miles. You've got to ignore that because this one has been sat around for a little bit and that gets inaccurate when it's sat around. Um, and it's based on uh, recent driving. So this really needs to be driven a little bit and that will get more accurate. Uh, but typically these do um, around your 80 mile mark if you drive them efficiently in the uh, summer. And then in the winter, you're looking at around 60 miles range, but it does very much depend on the temperature and heating use. But the full information of that is on the website. So the main reason for this video is to show you the condition. And if you see my videos before, you know I point out every little minor stone chip mark or scratch I can find. I don't hide anything because I want people to know exactly what they're buying. 
and then that gives people the confidence to buy the vehicle from afar without coming here to view it first and I would say probably 14 out of 15 vehicles go without a viewing because of the detail in these videos. So this one's in really nice condition it's only done 23,000 miles as I said but yeah for a van it's just in cracking condition but uh, as always I'll uh, be super picky and point little things out uh, because as I said I want you to know exactly what you're getting and uh, so there's no hidden surprises. Um, but you know everything I'm going to point out is so minor that most people really wouldn't care on a van. Um, let's start with the wheel trim. A little bit of scratching there on that edge there but you know it's just a plastic wheel trim. The tyres are all very good. The tyre tread depth on the website there's just one tyre which is a bit lower than the rest um, but yeah they're all very good. Looking around here no scratches on the bumper down there. There were about four tiny stone chips in the bonnet. Um, the worst one was just that one there but really tiny and they've all had a dab of um, touch-up stick in, touch-up paint in there. Uh, I would just say everything I'm pointing out I've taken pictures of, of on the photo gallery so on the website you can go to the photo gallery you can um, view the pictures full screen and you can also zoom in and have a good look in detail. So the only other thing I need to point out on the bumper is there's a little puncher uh, hole there in the plastic and this little bit of trim protrudes about two or three millimeters there it's clearly had a little um, parking knock on this corner but very minor it's just that little bit of plastic um, has popped out on that corner um, it's actually quite common on these uh, but none of the um, grills here have split which uh, that can happen on these so yeah very very minor um, that just it's just protruding a little bit there but other than that really nice condition this wheel trim is the worst because um, it generally is on the near side and because that gets hit when people are parking so there's more scratching on this one and a little uh, split there but as I said it's just a plastic wheel trim looking down here there's no dents or scratches um, on the bodywork there's a little scuff there on the mirror and you always get those because again they're on the near side um, and there was a little scratch in the yeah tiny little bits of scratching there in the plastic um, bar here on the door but really minor I'm being super picky here most people just really wouldn't care a few little scratches on this wheel trim which of course you're always going to get so this van has previously been sign written has had a partial wrap as well it looks like the back doors and all the back corner has been wrapped and then some vinyl lettering along the sides um, so where this has been removed there is a few little nicks out of the paint where they've removed the vinyl um, the worst two places was there's a, a little chip there in the paint which I've put some paint touch-up stick in which is about three millimeters by four millimeters but the worst one is here there was a scratch there which again it's got a bit of the touch-up paint in um, but that one is a little bit more visible there's also a little uh, dent there in that seam but very very small um, and then I think that was about it on this side. In total, there was about 10 little uh, nicks. I had to just dab a tiny bit of paint in, but most of them are really small like that, you know, just a few millimeters. Um, but yeah, all incredibly minor. Uh, worst one was this one here that is slightly visible. Um, going around the back, it has uh, been debadged when it was wrapped and they've put the full electric badge up there whereas previously it should be down there, but a very minor thing. Um, there is a, a, a little lump here in the bumper where clearly it's been reversed into something here, but there's no splits or any damage. It's just a little bit of uh, deformation there, but the other side is there is all spot on, but yeah, no splits in the bumper, which is good. And then if you look on the inside, it still looks like a new van to be honest um, no dents in the uh, panels at the top um, the single skin panels uh, no dents or splits in the hardboard panels at the bottom of the doors as well um, these aren't particularly strong but that's a good sign that it's being well looked after and um, yeah all in really nice condition so continuing around this side, that wheel trim is in nice condition, tyres are excellent, uh, really clean and tidy down this side. Um, I'm just having a look, no scratching on the 
mirrors, the trim is all scratch free, that um, wheel trim is all pretty good apart from that little bit of scratching there, actually I think I've shown you that one anyway. Um, but yeah, all really nice. The only thing I'm going to point out here which most people wouldn't see is there's a little, few little um, dimples in the paintwork there. At first I thought it probably just came out of the factory like it, but looking at it closer, I think there's been a previous dent has been removed in the middle of this panel along here. Um, and to be honest, I didn't even see it at first. I only saw it when I waxed the vehicle. Um, so it's very minor. And if you look down there, I suspect you're not seeing it at all. But I've taken pictures of it and you can have a good look at the photo gallery and zoom right up. Most people really wouldn't see that at all. There's no denting there uh, now at all. Just if you run your hand there, you can just feel a few little dimples. But I suspect what's happened there is there was a dent in that panel and a paintless dent removal guy has pulled that dent out. Um, so nothing to worry about. It's just that certain lights, if you look from here, you can just about see it, but you have to look hard. And I've looked along this van many, many times and it's only when I had um, polished it and stood back looking at uh, the shine of the polish, I then noticed it, uh, but I didn't notice it and I washed it and um, previously looking around the van. So yeah, very, very minor, but as I said, I don't hide anything. Um, but yeah, you really wouldn't see that. And then if we look on the inside, all very clean and tidy. I just removed my bit of paper there, but new carpet mats on the floor. Uh, a full one piece carpet mat that goes both sides. The only thing I'm going to point out on the inside is there is a tiny little um, hole in the seat there, about uh, three millimeters by one and a half millimeters. Um, and that's it. The seat uh, has very little wear. The bolsters are all still good. As you can see, they all look like new, really. So, yeah, really clean and tidy on the inside. And obviously, everything works without any faults or errors. So I'll just show you the paperwork. Uh, we've got two original remote keys there. We've got the book back here with all the books and the service book here. I'll just show you the stamps. Not that servicing is that important with electric vehicle, of course, because there's very few moving parts and no oil or anything like that. But anyway, um, it's had three services. Um, it's just been serviced. Uh, so we service all the vehicles before they go out, even though it wasn't needed. Um, V5 here no previous keepers so one keeper for new which was the lease company that we bought it from and the registration date is the 10th of the 11th 2017 and we've got some receipts here one for tyre one for one of its previous services the original pdi check sheet the service history printout from the uh, lease company to show it's had two services again the same service history printout MOTs until November 2021. Uh, receipt here for uh, something we just had done. So um, the screen here was showing miles per gallon instead of miles per kilowatt hour. And uh, turns out that the screen was changed by Citroen when this van was only a year old and it had the wrong configuration in the screen. So it's basically a giving diesel units rather than electric units. But anyway, that's been fixed now. Um, while it was in they also did their standard sort of check over and it's all green um, that's a receipt for the same and then uh, it's just been serviced so it's had a new cabin filter new wiper blades a new door check strap that's the uh, strap on this side the door stop strap and a new puncture repair kit because that was missing uh, wheels have been rebalanced the tire tread depth's all good the brake fluid's good the brake pads are all excellent and the battery state of health, that's the 12 volt auxiliary battery state of health will be on there when that's had a full charge overnight and tested again uh, tomorrow. Um, I suppose the other thing you're going to want to know about is the traction battery. But on these, the BMS, the battery management system, doesn't report state of health on the traction battery. So it's not possible to get that figure. Um, but generally, as a general rule, the batteries will more than last the life of the vehicle. Um, it's a Japanese battery on these. Uh, it's, a, it's a Japanese drivetrain actually on these. It's not French. Um, and typically the batteries degrade at about 1% or less per year. 
So I think that's about it. All the other details are on the website, as I said, so do have a look at that. And also the photo gallery where you can uh, zoom up and have a good look at everything I've pointed out. So this vehicle's ready to go. So if you're interested, give me a call or email and I can get these delivered anywhere in the country. And it will come to you on a flatbed or a trailer and it will be fully charged and ready to use.